Let's talk about Treat Yourself Sundays. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you can get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. There's a concept that I'm working on called Treat Yourself Sundays. And essentially what it is, is a day of rest, internal reflection, and allowing yourself to truly treat yourself. So here's what I mean. Most of the week, most of the time, most of us, are continually doing things that are pulling us outside of our body and making it so we're not focusing on who we are. If we're working long hours, nine to five, if we're driving, we have commutes, we're going to the gym, we're, we have appointments, we have dinners we have to attend, we have all these things that we, we have, that we have to go do, that we think we need to do, but the thing is we don't. We're not gonna get to that in today's episode, but what we are going to talk about is taking one day, one singular day, I'm doing Sundays, that's the day I do it, treat yourself Sunday and allowing you to turn internal and make sure that you can actually treat yourself. This is a lot different than what most people focus on. Most people will go do a meditation, they'll do something. This is a full day where you really need to see what you wanna do, how you wanna feel, and you need to do that. For instance, my treat yourself Sundays. What do I do? Ecstatic dance, and I'll link a video to tell you what that's about. I do a long meditation, 30 minutes to 60 minutes, and this is a lot longer, it's a lot more focused on myself. I do journaling. I make sure to plan the week before it even starts because by doing this, you're setting up your week for success. Planning to fail is failing to plan. And so by actually taking out the journal, free writing, what are my thoughts? What do I wanna get done this week? What do I wanna actually achieve in life? And I do this so often. Yes, you could say, Austin, you're existentially questioning your own existence constantly, and I am, but it is allowing me to refine and actually create this picture, this masterpiece of who I think I am and what I want to do a lot better. On Sundays, I love to journal, get down my thoughts, make sure that my mindset is ready for the week and make sure that I'm ready for whatever's coming. I'm making sure to plan for success. Going and getting a good, healthy meal, especially if you can do it with good company, is also another fantastic thing to slow down, to experience your Sundays, to bring in that experiential time, and to make sure to really experience life fully, right? Often we're running, we're busy, we eat, we inhale, we don't think about our food. Trent McCloskey loves to talk about slowing down, really chewing your food, making sure to get all those nutrients out, but also to appreciate what you get. Taking time on these Sundays to go get a good meal, to have good company, to laugh, to make sure that you're having that connection is very important. It's something that can really make you feel good and happy and fulfilled on these Sundays. So going and getting a good healthy meal that you can eat slow, that you can slow down, allow yourself to experience and enjoy the food, the quality of what you're eating, that can be so powerful for these days. And also moving, allowing your body to move, going to the gym, getting some, you know, freedom of consciousness movement, different than, oh, I'm going to make my muscles look pretty, get ripped, attract the opposite sex. But instead, this is movement. This is going through joint articular rotations, making sure that your eyes are moving properly, making sure that you feel good at the gym. Because if you can't move around, you can't go have fun in the gym. Why are you moving in the first place? Why do you want to be able to move? So going in the gym and allowing yourself to move, not a planned structured routine. Instead, what do I want to do in the gym? If you haven't tried this, this is a great exercise. And this is something that I think a lot of people need to have the ability to deal with, which is uncertainty and allowing their cells to choose what the next path is. These Sundays are an amazing day for me and I come out of them feeling so good. I feel fulfilled, I feel happy. I know that I got enough. I know that I have quality. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna link an article below where I figured out what I do really truly want. And it's days like this, which we can live every day, which I try to live every day, where by doing, by making yourself feel better, by actually making sure that you are treating yourself, that you can be yourself and that you can pave your own path and be who you wanna be. Now, what are your Sundays gonna look like? Take some time, plan out, hey, maybe on Sundays or maybe it's Mondays or Tuesdays or Wednesdays, whenever you have a day off, whenever you feel is necessary, where you can treat yourself. What do you wanna do? Write it down, figure it out. Because when you do that, you're going to make sure that your life is better. You're gonna make sure that everything does feel better. But that's it for this video. If it helped you in any way, make sure to press like. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe so I can make more videos like this in the future. And I look forward to seeing you in a video soon.